Hello everyone. I would like to introduce you to uh, a little project I've been doing recently. Um, I'm into building kits. I'm kind of a Lego Technic fan. Always build one or two every year. But I discovered this online. My wife and I always wanted a pirate ship model for the house. I just happened to go onto Amazon and type in pirate ship models and I came across this. I highly recommend it. Um, here's the actual cover of the box. This is a from a company called Cubic Fun. They do it's a 3D puzzle. And it, the ship is called the Queen Anne's Revenge. And it's a real ship, by the way. It actually belonged to a real pirate. Uh, if you look at some of the comments on Amazon, people say it's not the Queen Anne's Revenge, it's actually based on the Black Pearl from Pirates of the Caribbean. But it turns out that's incorrect. I've been reliably informed it is the Queen Anne's Revenge. And obviously it's a real ship and if you look at YouTube videos you actually see it has been uh, recovered from the bottom of the ocean. There's a lot of history to it but anyway that's what the box looks like. It's made up of three, try 293 pieces and it has LED lights. Now, you might be thinking the box looks a bit cartoony, not very impressive. I thought that too until I got it. Uh, the actual ship itself is like that. We have it sitting here as an ornament. It's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful model, to be honest with you. Uh, it's made from cardboard and paper and foam. You might think it's a bit dodgy, but the actual pieces are all um, sort of precision laser cut and the sheets, and you just pop them out with a popper, and they, they come out perfectly, no problems whatsoever. There's no glue needed. Uh, anything they got, no tools required. You just pop out the pieces and you click them and fold them into place. Instructions are pretty clear. I found it an absolute joy to build. It took me about two nights building at a casual rate. Uh, the second night was probably a bit more frantic, but uh, I'm very impressed. It has two rows of cannons uh, on both sides and it sits on this here nice stand. But I'm going to flip around the phone here to show you closer some of the things. So this is the actual ship itself, up close. If you hear whining in the background, don't worry, it's my dog Rhea. Groceries have just arrived and she's looking fed. But it's a beautiful vessel. Rich in detail. And all the cannons are in there, actually two rows of them. And there's the front, it actually has like a... A motif at the front here, I don't know what you call that. I'm on phone focus. And beautiful black seals. And the pirate flag on top. And a lantern at the back of it. It's actually quite big, it's like something like 68, 69 centimeters long. And I should have had those wires better. I made a mess up there, but normally these would be hidden and you light it up at night to the, the battery box sitting in the back in here. But even the detail on the rigging, there's like a housing wheel and details on the on the deck, the whole inside of it lights up. I found it quite straightforward to build, an extremely relaxing, enjoyable, almost meditative. It was an absolutely brilliant experience. Uh, e easy enough, but the, the actual masts and seals were tricky. I found them a little bit more temp temperamental, temp sorry, temperamental, and a couple of times I nearly lost the plot. But uh, I got it done, and it was worth the wait. An absolutely beautiful ship. And to think, at the price, is only somewhere along the lines of £43. You get a great building experience and a fantastic display model. I think it's great value. The company is very impressive. I have to admit, I'll probably buy more from them. I'm not impressed. So the light in here is not that good, but... You get the idea. So, we love it. So there you go. Uh, I thought I'd show you this piece I have in the house. So if you're interested in building things, or interested in ships, do check this one out. You can get it on Amazon and other locations. Some cubic fun 3D puzzles. Absolutely fantastic. They have a couple of our ship models on there of the pirate ship class as well. One of them is the Flying Dutchman from Pirates of the Caribbean. It's like a haunted ship. It actually looks really cool as well. So I'm actually half tempted to get it as well. But uh, yeah. 
Thanks very much for watching. There hasn't been much else going on to, to show you. We have a lot of grey skies here in Northern Ireland, so haven't been doing much filming. There's been no storms, no light, no clear nights at all. <laughs> the entire NLC season has been wiped out. So this has been the worst summer on record for, uh, for Northern Ireland as far as sunshine goes and any sky action whatsoever. So it's been a very tough period. Hence why I ended up buying something I guess to build at night time. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we're hoping for the tables will turn and nature will start showing off soon. The nights are getting darker now so it won't be long before the Milky Way season arrives. The telescopes are back out. The aurora is back. And maybe we get some late season thunderstorms as well. So looking forward to that. But thanks very much for watching. and. Stay tuned for uh, more content coming soon.